Well, I think the biggest challenge for women who want to get involved in politics and decision making is taking that first step and believing that they can imagine themselves at the end of the process, meaning winning. And that means that they need to think about all the steps. You know, how do they get the support of a political party, if that's relevant? How do they work with the media? How do they reach out to the electorate? How do they fundraise, if that's necessary? So it's really, I think, making a plan from the start that can help them, give them a roadmap to the end. Equal representation is massively important. Um, what we should aspire to with our democracies is representative democracy. So we should have a, a legislature or a government that is representative of the population it's serving. And so if you don't have half of the people who are making policies from one gender or another, then you're not going to have policies that are going to reflect the society. So I do think that it's really, really important. Sometimes it's underestimated how important it is. For society to change and empower women takes a lot of actors all working in concert. It is sort of like a, a symphony. You've got different instruments that are, have to play their parts. You've got the media, it's an area that I know very well, which really need to do a better job of making sure that they're interviewing sources that are representative of society. They're interviewing as many women as they are men. Um, you need political parties who are going to make this a priority. They're going to fund women candidates. They're going to give them visibility. These are part of the things that have to happen in order to make Make, to bring the opportunities for women that they haven't necessarily had historically. So it's important to have women in political positions so that the policies that result from political structures will serve the whole population. It will be better not just for women, it will be better for men. It will be better for girls and boys if we have policies that are reflecting the, the reality of the world we live in. We, that's been part of our problem is that we have imbalance. And so we don't have structures, we don't have parental leave policies, we don't have policies on equal pay, we don't have policies against harassment. Perhaps the people who are making the laws, just they don't come naturally to them. They don't see that it's, it's something that is affecting their lives directly, but it's affecting the people in their lives. And so they need that to happen. And if they have more women in a legislature, the women will perhaps come up with issues that the male members don't think of instinctively. And that will serve everybody better.